know, I, I can't let the funny get away. So I stacked up some stories. I got to tell y'all one story about Christmas, and then I'm going to go on. It's called Colin the Angel Boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Colin is uh, three years old, I suppose, somewhere around a three-year-old. Um, I have a granddaughter who's that same age. Rhonda was putting a play on at home. Um, she, she does all the sets for production of the drama. She, she's just that. So she was doing all that, and the little ones that age were going to be angels. This particular Sunday, my husband and I were helping the two to three year old angels rehearse their program. So it's about four wee little angels. I need y'all to picture them. They're this tall. They have on long white gowns and big white feathery wings that Rhonda has bought from a costume shop. And they have a candle in their hand that's one of those battery operated, looks like a taper, but we were gonna be able the night of production turn the lights off and turn their tapers on. So they're holding the candle. And a good friend of ours named Shelly Foster is directing them in their little um, part of the production. So my husband and I are in there watching. And Shelly is standing in front of them, and they're all standing behind her so that she can show them the motions. So you got it, all four little angels behind her, Shelly in front. At one point of the music, Shelly makes a big motion like this to the left. Most of the angels follow her, some of them do not, but most of them follow her to the left. And Shelly makes a big motion like this to the right. And most of them follow her to the right, except for Cullen. That's when Bill and I noticed a look on Cullen's face. We did not know what Cullen was thinking. In retrospect, we do, because Cullen was right behind Miss Foster. <laughs> and what Cullen was actually thinking was, I know where I can put my candle. <laughs> but we didn't know that at the time. So on the next move, Miss Foster does a big move with her candle up like this. And when she did, Colin the Angel Boy introduced her to his candle. I left that real clean so that you can ask your neighbor if you don't understand what I mean. I'd like to say that 2014, you're welcome, Sandy. I'd like to say that 2014 will go down as the year that Colin the Angel Boy added his own verse to that children's classic. <laughs> this little light of mine, <laughs> it's going where the sun don't shine. <laughs>